we knew he was gonna go into farming. Well, he was born into farming. He was gonna be a farmer. But then he went on to school to learn some other, he, uh, it was uh, machining. machining. He did that first and he, he went and he worked in, in a plant first. But he came back out to the farm and we knew he was gonna farm. And my husband, he passed away four years ago. And if he would come back and see the way Craig is farming now, I, I don't know what would happen to him. He, I think he'd die all over again. <laughs> we started farming. We were, you know, Dad farmed a, a lot in his day, basically, and, and Ma ended up retiring here. She turned. She turned her uh, her farms over to me when she retired. I've been farming really kind of by myself since uh, 1998. Started farming more full time and picked up some more acres and kind of just kept rolling from there. And and we're up to about 2,500 acres uh, as of as of this year. So anyway, our farm operation is uh, corn, soybean, mostly uh, rotation. In 2001. I decided to make a move into uh, Finnish, Finnish hogs. So it's been going well. And another huge advantage of the hog barn is uh, manure. So basically we uh, fertilize about 300 acres of uh, corn ground with uh, hog manure. And we use our uh, 8670 uh, front wheel assist is, is gonna be on a 7300 gallon uh, pool uh, uh, manure tank, a liquid manure tank, which then the ground, it gets, uh, the manure gets injected into the ground or it gets covered up. With the hog manure, I guess we can add about 15 to 20 bushels on top of our corn yield from conventional fertilizer. It seems to have a consistent year-to-year -year payback of that much, that many more bushels. These new engines are, are set up to use the power that they need with the computers and, and uh, you know, it backs them down. We'll be, we're going to be running across this field and I'll be using 12 to 16 gallons of fuel an hour and it's you know, and it, obviously the harder you pull them, you should be getting more acres done, but it'll, it'll use a little more fuel than that. But it's the fuel efficiencies are amazing on these uh, new machines. Our agronomy service, they run about 100,000 acres and they get in all kinds of different equipment and colors. And two of the guys, you know, at different times jumped in here and rode with me through beans. And it was, uh, it was there, they were very impressed. They uh, set out all the machines they ran. This was, most certainly the smoothest, quietest, and most capacity machine they had been in. This this machine, all our stuff here, everything we have is auto steer. Auto steer to me is one of the most important pieces of technology technology there is. Just for keeping whatever you're pulling or combining or is uh, being as efficient as it can without you know overlap. And it's just uh, getting across the farms faster. And as far as uh, auto steer makes your operating fatigue much, much less. You know, I, I, I'll jump in this cab here and I know I won't get out for five hours. At the end of the day, it's, it's a non-issue. It's, it's, it's like you didn't even do anything really. You know, you, you end up putting in a 12, 15 hour day and, it's, and the features in, in these actual cabs are definitely uh, as nice, nice as they can be. I, people always ask me what you change, what you do different. I get, I don't know. I don't know what to change. It's good the way it is. I can remember one time we were at a meeting and there was a man came in and he said to us at that meeting, farmers are gonna to have to use computers. And I thought to myself, holy cow, what are they gonna yeah. do with a computer on the farm? Yeah. But nowadays, the tractors are computers. Oh, they yeah. look like a tractor, but they're computers. <laughs> <laughs>